Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to be doing a full edit on this photo we have on the screen now. Link will be in the description if you want to have a play with it yourself. But let's get straight into the video. Now, first off, we're going to go into the color adjustment section. And I'm going to just go for the background first of all and just add a little bit more warmth to the picture as it was shot on a sunny evening around well, as you can see here around about sunset we've got the light shining onto the hair etc and yeah it was a really nice time of day and the pictures turned out well okay so we just wanted to bring the warmth up in the picture and I also want to get the saturation in the greens just a little bit more here and these ones here and maybe the purples for these flowers I just want them to highlight as well in the image I'm happy with that Okay, then I'm going to go, excuse me, back into there and then I'm going to nip onto the person and I want those lips to sort of match the flowers. So we'll go into here and then we can address the lip area and change the temperature and the colour just to match those flowers. We'll just add a little bit of brightness to that as well and a little bit more vibrance I'm happy with that a little bit of contrast as well bring the exposure down we don't want them too bright there we go okay next stage I want to be fixing some of these creases we've got on the dress so we'll head into the clothes adjust clothes and accessories touch up area and we're going to de-wrinkle the clothes and there we go it's just took the there's before there's after it just took that it just tidied it up just a little bit without going too far in my opinion there we go now the crop's perfect i'm happy with the crop on the image we don't need to do anything there so straight off now we can head into the main part of the software which is the portrait retouching now blemish wise there isn't any so we're going to concentrate on just adding a few features just to make the picture pop just that make it that little bit extra so we're going to go into the eye section first of all and then we're just going to brighten those eyes up just a little bit again some people they just go too far you just want subtle subtle fixes to give it that just give, give your pictures that wow factor uh, there isn't any red veins but just in case we will put that up to about there now next one we want to go to is the facial reshaping and we're going to go into the eye section just bring those eyes up just a little bit i think about there and then we will shoot use the facial shape do too much to that area just a more a little bit more symmetrical and maybe just a little bit there jawline's fine face size again we don't need to do anything there none of these none of these head to the mouth just get a little bit more width and pout to the lip area and increase the size just a little bit m-shaped lips now i've moaned about this before it 
Well, it seems to be doing just not too bad a job on this picture. But if it's got the mouth open, it doesn't work that well. We'll add that to about there. Okay, eyes, we've done that one. Eyebrows, we don't need to do anything there. We're going to close that up. And then we're going to go into the makeup section. Just a little bit of contour and the highlights. We'll add a little bit of makeup to the eyebrow just to make them a little bit more prominent. Eyelashes, we're going to go in here and bring those up full. It's one of those like fantasy fairy photos, so anything that highlights the face is a win. We don't need to do the lipstick. We'll just head into the contour. To see that from sort of the position that you would be watching, looking at the picture, to do this one. Be with that one. Eyeliner as well. We'll just go into there. And then the eyes, we've got the contact lenses. We've got brown eyes. We'll just add them. And then we will bring them. If you go too far, they look crazy. We just want to add a little bit of the colour back into the eyes. So we will go to, I would say, 30% should do it. And we can just see those eyes popping. A little bit of blush. Not too much. We've got the eyebrows. Eyeshadow. We don't need any of that. Okay, we're done in there. Now I want to go into the skin retouching just to unify the complexion just a little bit and add a little bit of color as well. We won't go too far. I think about there will do hair again this section here it's it, it, it's really annoying me that they haven't let's see if they've changed it no you see it should start up there and then add the darkness if you want to anyway we're not going to be doing anything to the hair. Maybe that one. The hair colours, they just don't work. Anyway, that's sad. It is sad that it doesn't work. AI reshaping, what does that do? We don't really need to do anything. We might just add a little bit more height to the image. There. A little bit more height. Never hurts anyone. Head's fine. Neck's fine. Neck length. No, we don't need to play with that one. Arms. Fine. Waist area, we don't need to do anything there. Hips, again. A little bit more length on the leg. Now I just want to go into the... Don't forget guys, these videos are helpful to you. I would appreciate if you follow me. Okay, so we need to go into the oh we can't we can't do it see this one it just doesn't work all the time on pictures it's weird i guess we don't need it on this one the facial expressions again <laughs> anybody anybody who who uses this they just need a kick up the backside because it's just mad 
it doesn't work. Why the added it, I have no clue. Let's just try the gentle smile. Has that been updated? Doesn't do anything. Smile generation. I mean, come on, guys. Doesn't work. Just doesn't work. Now, there's a few features I would like added to this software, which I'm going to talk about in one of my next videos where I'm going to do a comparison. Same picture, but we're going to put it up against Portrait Pro and talk about the weaknesses and the strengths of each picture, uh, sorry, each software, so you can decide yourselves which one is right for you. Right, okay, so we're just going to finish off with a little bit of clarity. I want real time now. I've done everything. Let's get the... A little bit more clarity, a little bit more saturation in the shot. And I'm done. So there you go, guys. Quick edit. Don't forget, like, subscribe. And like I said, we'll see you in the next video. It might be the next one or over the weekend, I'll be putting that one up where I'm going to put Portrait Pro. They've just updated their software against Evoto. And like I said, we'll talk about the strengths and weaknesses of each one. See which one is best for you. See you in that one. Bye, guys. Bye.